Those gathered at Fort Macon this weekend couldn't hear it in the roar of the cannons. They couldn't see it as those cannons lit up the night sky. But as the smoke settled, each call for reenactors to fire the fort's 32-pound cannons was made possible by Wayne County. That's because the 150th anniversary and first ever reenactment of the siege of Fort Macon was spurred on because of the cannon carriages contributed by Wayne Community College. Kirk Keller, an instructor at the college, got the call from the parks about a year and a half ago. They contacted me one afternoon and asked me to, to review some prints that they had. Well, I had no idea what they were talking about until they walked in the door and uh, laid out um, some copies of the 1830 prints of the Barbet carriage and cannon that uh, come from the original prints that uh, were stored with the state, ar state archives. They had wanted those duplicated and one thing led to the other and uh, the combination of the mechanical engineering, uh, machining technology, and welding technology that we offer at the college, we produced the cannon that you see now. The state has been able to uh, obtain three cannons from another state institute. We've saved money, reduction in labor. It gives history a more realistic appeal. Go! Fire two! And while the recent installments at Fort Macon cement the Post's connection to Wayne County, the relationship truly dates back 150 years. Very, very early in the war, uh, it was determined that Goldsboro, North Carolina was a very strategically significant point. So the Union came up with a plan to march an army uh, from the coast of North Carolina to try to sever the railroad line at Goldsboro. One of the things that had to happen for this to be able to occur was to take out Fort Macon because they needed the port at Beaufort. And Fort Macon was placed here originally in 1826 to protect Beaufort and Beaufort Harbor. So this had to fall uh, in order that they could take other points along the way, Newburn included, and they could march into uh, to Goldsboro and try to sever the railroad line. Goldsboro soldiers were also at the fort when the Union laid siege to it in 1862. A member of a reenacting group called Andrews Battery. Uh, and we're portraying the original Andrews Battery that was the only artillery unit that was raised from Wayne County during the American Civil War. And they served at Fort Macon in 1862 and were here during the siege in the fall of the war. The fort fell to the Union after 33 days of siege and an 11-hour bombardment. Years removed from its last action in World War II, Fort Macon today is one of North Carolina's most popular state parks. The work from Wayne Community College and the dedication of historians and reenactors will ensure the fort's history and its connections back to Wayne County will live on.